Hey, what's up guys? My name is Renee. I'm a cinematographer, I'm a filmmaker, and I'm a content creator. And today we're going to be checking out these crazy, crazy TikTok videos by some amazing filmmakers. All right, let's get into it now. Oof, okay, 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 okay. So, first of all, just that kind of raw, organic vibe, which is really, really nice. I like the pictures and pictures, you know, where you take a photo and you take multiple photos and you're just kind of like moving closer to the object and it creates such a cool time-lapse effect. And just the matching, like, perfect frame, perfect symmetry of the subway entrances is just really, really cool with that, like, little push-in at the end. I mean, I think you're starting to see that a little bit more on TikTok and, like, YouTube nowadays, but this is, like, so much work to do these kind of videos and like it looks so good too like the cinematography is really good ah oh, this this is crazy like the kind of picture in picture and then you have like the little kodak like film strips it looks really nice and you're giving like the subway a face like and then just like always on that midway it's like how many how many photos must you take in order oh and then like within the window there's like the second frame of like ah oh, that's really really cool that's so well done so is it just like stationary no they have lighting moving on it it has like this whole like effect on top wow Ooh, a little drone shot as it like rotates over the the train See, this is nice. It like starts on the sign. You find all the like, man, the midway just matches perfectly like in each and then you're on to the Linden. So you're, you're kind of like experiencing the journey, you know, you're going from one place to the next. Little, ah, oh, the countdown. That's really cool. As like the location switch, that's really, really nice. Beautiful corners, man. I really, I find it so cool people that are able to like capture buildings because I find like when you live in a big city, it, it, it's like hard to capture buildings because you, you walk by it like so often that it just becomes this kind of mundane thing. But like when you put this in a video like this and you're able to like make it look really, really cool. Ah, the loop is perfect. Really, really cool video, man. This guy, this guy's visuals are insane and like such a huge inspiration for like anyone starting into like filmmaking, content creating, whatever. Okay, all right, let's go to the next one. Ah, that was such a good one. I really, you know, the music and everything and like the sound effects of the street and like just the, the intro, the way that it starts with like the, the crosswalk and it like is on every beat. That is such a cool idea. I really like that. And it creates a tempo, it creates a speed and then boom, you know, he slows it down with this really, really nice shot. You know, you get these perspective lines that lead to your subject with the building in the middle. That is like such a sick shot. And the color contrast, you're getting like the warm glow in the shadows and you're getting like the blue sky. So like a nice little color separation, which is pretty cool. I think shot matching is really, really cool. And like when you shot match, it's just you're layering your subject in the same spot. So your eyes aren't roaming around. So in this case, you know, the previous shot, he's in the middle and then your eyes are like, you know, focused towards the middle. And it's, the next shot is a match shot of him with the statue in the middle, which is kind of cool because you also had the buildings, which was like this tall, subject and then you had him smaller underneath you're you're kind of really matching the concepts as well and you know continuing this motion of him taking photos with the shutter clicks and everything so really amplifying the sound design which is making each cut even stronger you know i like these shots because there's kind of a, a pro mist filter there's a, a halation look as well you can see the red glow that's happening here so I would assume it's digital with maybe like a dehancer plugin or something that has that halation a little bit. So you're 
kind of blooming your highlights with a Promis filter um, to get that nice bloom on the on the lights. It's kind of a nice little nostalgic uh, vibe, you know, or film vibe. And you know, same thing here. You can see the Promis. I I kind of prefer this shot a little bit more because the pro mist is a bit more subtle but like the style and everything the color that mix of blue and yellow is really really nice this guy is doing really good work i mean every time i see these videos i get so inspired so it's it's pretty cool to see oh, hey. i guess we wait for the next one <laughs> Oh, it's changing seasons. Oh, man. Oh, that was so good. Oh, man, the amount of time that this must have taken is crazy because you, like in the beginning, you're like, okay, it's the same shot, different time of day. But then you see like, yo, the grass, the grass is growing, which is crazy. Like it's totally different seasons. The you know, they must have used like a small HD with a capture, you know, where you can really layer the shot on top of each other. Uh, or they had marks or something, but you know, you're coming back like through a long period of time to capture this for something so short. This is like 20 seconds. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And it's like just that tall grass in the shot before and like, and you feel this kind of capacity of telling a story in just 20 seconds is absolutely wonderful. I lost my watch the other day, which got me thinking about lost time. But do we only lose time because we're counting? Without watching time, there is no late or early. There's just now. Hmm. You know, time is this illusion that it's there for us to lose. Why are we measuring our moments using essentially a countdown? And when you take a second to think about it, you're only really losing the present. Uh, I really like that. The opening shot is instantly intriguing. You're like focused on the watch itself and just the frame, you know, you have a nice perspective of depth. I find it funny that he has like, he has his, his camera, kind of looks like a Fujifilm, maybe X100V or something. Um, and it, it, you know, it kind of brings you into the world of a creative, which is really cool. And again, just this whole frame within a frame and the focus being on the watch, which is really cool. Again, on the concept of like match cutting, you know, the guy is sitting at the desk and then it cuts to him sitting outside. It's it's a great way to kind of tell stories and have you in multiple different like scenes and situations is by match cutting. And it's a great way to bring your audience from one space to another space. Whoa, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, that's so freaking cool. Okay, 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 okay. It, it's VFX, it's VFX for sure. But, man, okay, so actually, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. There's some of the pages on the ground that I think those are real. They, they look real. Okay, I mean, okay, if there's some, sh like, the especially the ones that he's interacting with, which is really nice. Again, this is an eight-second shot. It's so cool, such an interesting concept. Okay, so yeah, the, the sheets that he's picking up, they must be real. He has them in his hand, puts them in there. Then he goes for that one. He actually picks it up. Okay, so basically you end up having um, the VFX obviously is the papers flying. The shadows are matching really, really nice with his shadow on the ground. So that's really some good comping. Um, but such a simple idea to make it look so magical and really fun. And the fact that he's interacting with like paper on the ground. Also, like the color correction, uh, the composition you know there's a little zoom out that's happening really really cool i i like this one i i think it was kind of a simple concept but uh obviously a lot of work in in vfx to create such an interesting like motion of the sheets and everything but really really cool oh man right from the beginning okay okay sorry <laughs> Wow. 
man i'm not gonna lie this guy this guy's work has inspired me for such a long time now and it is just insane This is the kind of stuff that gets me inspired and makes me want to go and shoot. Again, I like a lot of this street photography vibe where you're there and you're capturing the moment. The colors, the, the cinematography is absolutely beautiful. All these moments of like staticness push in and then you go with the bus that comes in and it like zooms in and cuts into like a closer shot of the woman on the bus to the taxi like again the sound effects and everything that are like helping cut those shots this is really really good work and you're like you're you you get drawn into this world into this vibe and it's just really nice i don't know the people who can do street photography and, and street video i find them so interesting because like you're going out so often you're capturing every little moment and it's really impressive that people are able to get this crazy amount of quality you 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 feel the emotion you feel this kind of maybe like stalker vibe you know you're you're looking at people interacting in their everyday lives and it's such a cool way to to kind of capture a city this guy has been like my number one inspiration Every time I see his videos, I get motivated to like go out and shoot and it's pretty crazy. It's, it's really good. Last week, I finally quit my job to chase my dreams. I always knew there would be a day where I'd find- Ah, <laughs> okay, so the light that's right here, um, again, I'm pretty sure it's the same light that I have here, which is basically just an aperture. It's a Leco adapter and you can get a uh, 19 or 36 degrees and it allows you to kind of create different lighting effects on walls and on people and stuff like that. And uh, this looks like that, or maybe he has a light outside of the window, but considering how sharp the shadows are and if he is in his bedroom, it is probably a spotlight with a kind of cookie and cropped in a little bit to give it a different kind of look than what I have on the back wall here now. Take the risk and follow my creative passions. And that day finally came on a random Friday afternoon. I want to hand in like my notice and leave the social. Although ever since leaving a week ago, it still hasn't hit me yet that I'm about to start my dream life. Oh, I like that. The dream life that switches. That's such a cool little effect. So subtle, so nice, but just very, very cool. That new beginning comes with new fears and new challenges. But with all the time in the world in my hands, I finally have control on my creativity. So, for once in my life, I can finally say the words I've always wanted to call myself. Hi, I'm Paolo, and I'm a full-time creator. Man, Paolo, good work, good work. This is really, really cool. I love the opening shot. Right away, you're, you're drawn into it, you know? Instead of having a Last title, week. it's like just a custom written title. I also like that he has a film by Paolo on the sheet itself, which is really cool. You get the camera, you get the ND filters, uh, the classic. I feel like this is like such a gox thing to have like drawing um, or cutting a mat on the ground. So I see a lot of people having that in their videos nowadays. I love the storytelling in this video too, which is cool because it's like, you know, he's in a suit, he's kind of doing his corporate job and he's working at a computer and he wants to become a content creator. You can see the film slate in the background, which is nice. So there's like these subtle hints of like filmmaking and wanting to, to make movies. And you know, he's working on a computer with his regular like outfit on. It switches, dream live, it's such a nice little drop effect, such a cool like effect. Also finding the same font, I wonder if like the last text... Ah, it's so well done, man, man, people have such talent. <laughs> Again, it's such a simple title thing, but I feel like unless you know VFX, unless you know how to do these little title things, like it's so well integrated. And then him running, it's such a nice, nice shots, nice vibe. I like the kind of hazy film look, colors, the color correction on this is really nice. 
because it feels realistic, very naturalistic. Well, that's all the time that we have for today. So I hope you guys found this interesting. It's a new format that I'm kind of testing out. I've been seeing so many incredible filmmakers and content creators on TikTok, YouTube, all over the place. And I just want to share it with you guys. And I enjoy watching these filmmakers create really cool videos. And hopefully it's a way to kind of inspire you guys and inspire other people to start making content. And I'm always looking to react to more videos. So leave them in the comment section below on videos that you think is really revolutionizing the film world. I think especially right now on TikTok, on YouTube, some filmmakers are creating some incredible things. And I think we should really watch these videos and get inspired by them and kind of discover new filmmakers that are starting to create some really crazy stuff. All right, don't forget to like the video and subscribe.